Okay, thank you for watching. I'm thinking a lot about this topic. Have you misplaced your identity? Is the question. Been thinking a lot about performance, mental performance, physical performance, and how, you know, a lot of this I will call the outer game. What you see on a sporting on a on a football field, what you see in a basketball court, on a tennis court, in a baseball diamond, this outer game, okay, that's a physical athletic sense, what you see. In someone's marriage, just looking at it, what you see in someone's career, looking at the outer thing, is predicated, built upon these inner dynamics, this inner game, if you will. Um, and games have their own rules, they have their own objectives, their own mission, their own goals. And so those that mission, the goals of the inner game, influence what shows up on the outer game and for you particular particularly shows up in how you feel and how you perceive when you're going through those outer game scenarios how does this relate to um your identity well part of this whole thing and I've observed this in my own life so much, is this state of being of just obsessing over something. Wanting it so bad, craving it so bad, what this this um overwhelming desire. Okay, maybe you've experienced this too. And how this gets in the way of not only Getting what I ultimately want, tangibly, externally, getting what I want, but robs me of any internal satisfaction and happiness in what I'm doing. And this brings up the conversation of hidden agendas or hidden games, hidden uh, reasons. This is part of the inner game. And so... Right? Very basically speaking, we have two brains. The conscious brain. You and I talking, you, you listening, me talking, reasoning, rationalizing, all this stuff we think of in our consciousness, right? The conscious brain. Outside of our awareness, below, if you will, our awareness is what we just call our subconscious. It's this automatic uh, processes and uh, ability we have to automate and to allow us to perform the functions that we just take for granted as being a human or your subconscious. You don't have direct control over the subconscious, right? But your subconscious has goals and objectives for you. You don't agree with me? At some point, you're going to get hungry. You're going to get really hungry. You're going to get really thirsty. You're going to have to go to the bathroom. You're going to have to go to sleep. These are all functions that are driven by these unconscious goals and objectives for you. Your unconscious, subconscious knows you need and drives you to perform. So it can receive the nourishment, the rest, whatever it is, from you. Okay? You, we are driven by these unconscious needs, these bodily needs, right? Well, another thing that seems to be in, uh, fundamentally, and I love this guy named Peter Crone. He talks about this a lot. You can look up his YouTube videos. Peter Crone talks a lot about how almost this what fundamental to almost being human is this feeling that we have of not being enough.
okay? This um, terms that are also used like this scarcity or this lack that we feel, right? We feel from young up about ourselves. Now, is it true? Is it true that you're not enough? Is it true that I'm not enough? You know, true meaning like, hey, is it true that you have a heart? We can cut you open and see you have a heart. Is it true you have a bicep? Well, we can see you have a bicep. Seems very true. Is it true you're not enough? We can't open you up. We can't observe it, right? It's just, it, it exists in, um, in belief, in, 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 in what you say, okay? It's subjective. It's not a hard truth. But we still feel this, though. And this is what, this is a game that is played by the subconscious, an inner game of, of trying to feel like we are enough, like we are good enough, trying to overcome this feeling of lack. That's something that your unconscious is driving you to do. And if you look into your life, you've been influenced in this direction. And a lot of the overthinking and the obsessiveness and the caring so much and all of this over trying comes from this feeling of not being enough, this feeling of fear about ourselves that we are inadequate in some way. Again, not a truth, not a truth. Maybe someone told you you were not enough. Maybe people implied that you were not enough. <clears throat> Maybe you came to that on your own conclusion based on how people reacted towards you or just judging the, your life in general, why things don't seem to work out for you the way they do for others and what must be you. It must be me. I'm the problem. Something's wrong with me. Again, not a truth, okay? You can get that part, if you can get just the subjectiveness of this, that we just are making this up. We are agreeing to it. Yes, the feeling is there, but we agree to this belief about ourselves, that we are not enough. This, this, this untruth, this, 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 this made-up thing, that we are not enough to explain our certain situation. Okay? It's a victim mentality. I'm just not enough. Not good enough. We go about our whole life then trying to feel good enough. Okay? It's the unconscious sub subconscious wants to feel good about itself. And so we're trying to we're trying to work through we're trying to um, to hammer this home. You could do this through sports. You can, you can try to be good enough through your looks how um, attractive you are to the opposite sex, through your career, trying to be good enough through just how much money you make, um, kind of car you drive, you name it, it's anything. At the core of all that <clears throat> is the untruth that you have to do all of that to prove to yourself that you're good enough. Now, this, is, this runs really unconscious, okay? So... We're not aware of it. All we know is that we like to do this stuff. Oh, I really like it when I win in my sport. I really like it when I can hook up with girls. I really like it when I can make a lot of money. Right? We feel good from it temporarily, although it never really satisfies us and it keeps driving us to be more and more, right? And this is that pathological behavior. Pathological because it's a disease, sort of, that's never going to fulfill us. And I'm speaking from this perspective also that, like, not only will it not fulfill us and won't be happy, but it also, we're not going to perform well. So we actually don't even get what we want. So we care too much. It's based on fear. It's based on fear. Okay? And so your identity, getting back to what I, what I proposed in the beginning was 
we have placed our identity of who we are on an untruth. You're identifying as being not enough. Aaron Kurtz is not good enough, not attractive enough, not um, good enough at this. He can't do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you agree to these things and it becomes part of your identity and then it's a game you're trying to play in your life. What you want to do is become aware of this. Become aware of these games you're playing, these agreements you've made about your identity and, and not being enough, okay? And notice as it comes up And then re-identify yourself. What's the truth about Who are you? What do you want? Wanting is not wrong. There's an energy about wanting and desire that is good for us, right? When it's coming out of a place of, of obsessiveness and fear, there's an attachment to it, right? When you're attached to desire and want, that's when it brings you down. But uh, desire and wanting is what lifts you up and drives you forward as long as you're not attaching to it and attempt get attachment um, as the buddha and buddhism would say is it is the root of all suffering because it comes from this lack and an, an inadequacy and so you know so many times i think early on when i first discovered this I was like well then i shouldn't do i shouldn't go after anything you know it was like i i shouldn't desire if that if man if desire, if the only way I know wanting and desire and going after is is through attachment, then I'm just going to not want anything. You know, maybe I should just sell all I have and give to the poor. Maybe I should and just sit around in sackcloth and ashes. And, and um, you know, that's not the answer either. So... <laughs> And again, going after what you want, okay? Going after what you want brings up your belief says brings up the emotions inside of you. Brings up emotions inside of you that are attached to these inner game subconscious beliefs that we can then work with and reshape and remodel to the person that we want to be. Um, there's a whole lot of skill there involved in doing that. But um, but it's a process. You get to you get to tell yourself who you are. Maybe society, maybe parents, maybe whatever it was told you who you were, school teachers, friends told you who you were. You get to re- Evaluate and rebrand yourself based on how you see yourself. And how you view yourself is going to dictate the experience you have and everything you do in life. If you're an athlete, if you're a parent, if you're a business owner, whatever it is, it's going to dictate the experience you have, the enjoyment you have, and also ultimately the performance because you are going to perform even just physically your body is going to perform physically so much more smoothly and efficiently and coordinatedly in coordinated ways um, when you're not operating out of fear you're not in a survival mode okay but when you're in a, in a, you're in a, in a in a more of a flow state which comes from being focused in what you're doing for the enjoyment of being all you can be in what you're doing. Not because you have to be that way. Not because you don't. And if you lose or you don't make enough money or you break up with the girlfriend, not because if any of those happen, you are super upset with yourself and you are, you cannot, you just don't feel good about yourself anymore. Not about that. It's that you're playing the game differently now. You're playing it to see to have new experiences, to be all you can be, to see what your potential is. Um, and you can still want to win. You can still want to go after all the things in life 
that you want, but you're coming at it from a different energetic place that's not based on fear and lack, right? It's based on you already being all you want already. You having everything you want already. You're giving it to yourself up front. Giving it to yourself up front and everything else becomes more enjoyable. Thanks for watching.